is Ian, and today in this open discussion we will be exploring a topic I've been seeing on the internet about art, and the, and the debates are dealing with whether art should be subjective or could we be objective about it. Now, throughout this whole video I will be at my school, talking to friends, and hearing their thoughts on it so I could get a general idea of how people feel about it, about this topic, and give you my final thoughts on it. Y'all may disagree with everything that's about to be said or not. Either way, either way, it's a topic we'll be delving into, so let's get this started. <laughs> How do you, do you believe we should be a bit more critical with films, or we should leave it with the idea that uh, it's entirely subjective? Or are you in the middle? Yeah. I'm probably in the middle. Could you elaborate? I, mean, I don't really. I don't really. I mean, like, I, I don't care for every movie. Some what movies about? I like though, but I also find, I mean, I can, I can see flaws in some movies that I like, I like them. Do you think art should, do you think art should be just subjective or we should be able to tell what's, what makes a good art, what makes art good or what makes art bad? Should be able to tell. Alright, Kurt, so, this question, you are the second person I'm talking to. This question has to deal with subjectivity and objectivity. Now, you already know the saying is art is subjective, which is true to an extent. But do you think we should be objective, which is to say critical of art, so that we can tell the difference between the good and the bad? I think, uh, yes, we do need objective art, critical stuff once in a while, because not everything people do is essentially good to everyone. You have to be objective to point out all the flaws that are within that art. And also, uh, do you think this applies to movies as well? Definitely movies. Alright, Alex, you are the third person I asked and I hope the footage can get this. If not, I'm going to have to turn it. Art, I think, is a mix of Objectivity and subjectivity, if those are real words. They are. They are real words, and the point of this is I want to hear your thoughts on it. Like, should we be a bit more <coughs> critical on stuff dealing with art, like movies or such? I think, I think modern art, and there's all kinds of, I think there's a broad category of the visual arts, but modern art, I think it's a lot of poo poo. Well, I think different forms of art that wouldn't be classified as like super abstract things. I think that's more reasonable. Um, in my opinion... So you're being subjective here. Right. That's in my opinion. Now, some of the more abstract stuff, it's hard to understand. It's, it's not exactly aesthetically pleasing to me. Now, I do like scenes of classical art, I like scenes of countrysides, of things like that, paintings of mountains, paintings of battle scenes, where you can clearly make out what's going on. And maybe some digital art, where it's a computerized image of a city and all of that, that has 
that, that you can make sense of what's going on. It's not like a, a, a splash of paint here and a and, and some wild sculpture right here. It, it's, it's something It's like uh, what Matthew understand. said. Uh, we, I, you don't know if that one dot on a board is actually art. Right. Something that you can make out, something that you can comprehend. And I think the rules, like if you're going into the realm that I'm going into, of, I, I think there is like a formula for art generally, but I think it's a very broad thing. So the objective part of this is that uh, we tend to like symmetry, we tend to like uh, different colors, if that makes any sense like that. We tend to like the same colors for a particular kind of painting. All right then. So most people think that flowers are aesthetically appealing. Most people think that symmetry is aesthetically appealing. For someone's face, for instance, and the type of features, uh, something that makes someone attractive is like their, the symmetry of their face, but not only that, but the type of features, their skin, eye color, uh, the tone, etc. I think it, for me, I think it all depends on the scale you have. Like, you set up your own scale and uh, talk about things, discuss and come to agreement so that we can all be able to tell the difference between good and bad. Right. All right, Kaylee. So, I'm going to ask you the question. Uh, do you think art should stick with being subjective or we should be a bit more critical on things dealing with art, whether it be movies or games or, you know, stuff in general? I mean, everyone has their own opinions. Everybody likes different things, so... Well, yeah, but uh, we need to come with like a, do you think we should come with a scale of any kind so that we can determine what's good or bad? No, because some people may think it's great and some people may think it's like terrible because we all have different tastes. Well, is there a movie you don't like? Yes. What is it? The live action Avatar The Last Airbender movie. I didn't even get past five minutes of the movie and I already hated it. Would you argue that movie is terrible? Yes, I would argue. Well, that. some people may think in their own opinion it's actually all right or good. Do you see the problem with uh, being subjective about things? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they like it, that's fine, but I don't, so. So, with that in mind, do you think there should be a kind of a scale for things? like might not be the best thing in the world and particularly in movies like I know some people like the newer Jurassic World films I enjoy them but they got issues so in conclusion yeah I am um, in general there should be a fine line between two you could be subjective about it but you need to understand that there are some flaws with whatever you watch listen or see and so this ends this video. Y'all have a good day. See you next time.